Okay, before we go in, remember, you have to pretend to be surprised. How's this? Oh my god, it's so much worse than I imagined! The energy was great, but the message was flawed. All right, let's get this over with. Surprise. What's going on? I rented this entire bar so you and I could celebrate with no people anywhere near us. Probably should have hired a bartender, though. I have no idea how to make drinks. This is incredible. It was all Charles's idea. I told you I knew you, Roro. Thank you. <laughs> but never call me Roro again. Oh, but I will. I've earned this. Happy B Day, Roro! Woo! Diaz. Pimento. What's up? What's up with you? I need you to sign this report. Okay, I'll sign your report. Mm. What the hell? Mm. Careful, the ink's still wet. Maybe this will help. Okay, they gotta knock that off. Loosen up, Sard. Summer of love, baby. It's March, man. Shut up. You punching holes? Yeah. That's way too much paper. Not for me. Can't even get a cup of coffee. <clears throat> well, I'm off to find some yellow paper so I can do this all over again. All right, Diaz, that's it. What's going on with you two? Oh, you noticed it? Yeah, I noticed it. Everyone's noticed it. A convicted pervert asked me if you guys could cool it. I don't know what to tell you. Something between us, Sarge. Something dark and urgent. Mm. I could have done that. Yeah, I know you could have. But you didn't. I did. <laughs> I mean, there are lots of other poles, guys. A whole street full of them. So, Adrian, when are we gonna stop messing around and do this thing? Uh, never. What? You know what? I just realized I, I forgot something at home. I'm just gonna. That was weird. You okay? Yes. Something I'd like to say. I'm a pretty private person, so this is kind of hard for me, but. Here we go. I'm bisexual. All right, I will now field one minute and zero seconds of questions pertaining to this. Go, Amy. How long have you known? Since seventh grade. I was watching Saved by the Bell and I thought, Zach Morris is hot. And then I thought, Lisa Turtle, also hot. The fact that the words Kelly and Kapowski didn't just come out of your mouth is lunacy. What made you decide to tell us now? Charles found out on the road trip and I was positive he was not gonna be able to keep a secret for much longer. Bye, Rosa. I mean, not bye, but bye. I mean, see ya. I mean, have fun only having sex with men, just banging dudes left and right. I just stopped saying bye altogether. So are you seeing anyone now? Yeah, her name's Tiffany. Are you lying about her name so we won't look her up? Yes, I am. I want to introduce you to my friend, Trishelle. Hi. Sparks. Well, I'm going to take off. You two have fun. Get some. I made a mobile version. So what are you drinking? I'll have a margarita but like a skinny margarita. So like tequila and lime and a tiny splash of agave. Mm, I refuse to order that. You don't have to. I heard her. What do you want? Just take your cheapest whiskey and pour it into your nearest glass. That's a drink. So with this diet that I'm on, you can eat anything that's clear. Mm. <laughs> like rice noodles, pineapple gummy bears. So, how'd it go last night? Worst date I've ever been on. Oh no, that sucks. But why are you coming into work so late? It's almost like you spent the night somewhere. I don't know, like maybe the bartenders? Wait, what? How did you know that? Because Aubrey is my friend and she was the real setup all along. No, 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 no. Yes, no. I knew you'd reject whoever I put in front of you. 
I mean, Trisha was just a decoy. And you fell for it. Hook, line, and skinny margarita. Nicely done. Aubrey is great. We are going to dinner again tonight. Woo! I owe you an apology. You're a great matchmaker. Thank you. And you know what? I'm just glad that you found the courage to tell me how great I am. It means so much. Whatever. Mm. Have a fun night. Mm. So, are you bringing someone to the wedding? No, I'm taking a break from dating for a while. What? I'm sick of asking people how many siblings they have. Oh, is it somewhere between zero and two? How fascinating. But you never know when you're gonna find your dream person. Anyone on the street could be that. All right, it feels like you Googled how to talk to your bisexual friends. Yeah. The point is, you can close yourself off all you want, the universe will find a way. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Carson. Hi, I'm here to pick up Rosa. Are you the one I'm looking for? All right, she should be here any minute. Her name is Alicia. Switch with me. That's your good side. I have a bad side. Oh, damn, you didn't know? All right, can we just focus on finding the veil? Really, it's not a big deal. I'm sure it's in her car. <laughs> Oh, here she is. Do you mind if I slyly mention you're single? Do not do that. You won't even notice. Hey, you needed to see me again? Rose is single. What? Ignore him. We left a dry cleaning bag in your back seat. Oh, I, I didn't see anything, but you can take a look. The veil's not here. Rosa was so screwed. Hold on. Don't freak out. You were the one that said that. That was before the veil went missing, when life was breezy. So I only had one passenger after you, and he got off here. Well, what did he look like? I don't know. I mean, he was wearing some dumb hat. I'm sorry. I know that's not helpful. All, All hats, hats are, are dumb. dumb. Ah. What the hell? Is that your laugh? Also, quit vibing and help me solve this. Sorry, man. That's what the universe wants. Screw the universe. The universe is a dick. Maybe it fell out when he got out of the car. Wow, you're so smart. Oh, oh yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Here it is. Uh-oh. It's kind of dirty looking, but you know, that's why they put it in a dry cleaning bag. I'm sure everything inside is totally, nope, soaked in urine. Damn it, New York. I can't believe it's taken so long for us to meet. You're so nice. Oh, I don't know about that, Jocelyn. I'm just being myself. Well, you're very sweet about the cosmetology thing. A lot of people are dismissive of hairstylists. It makes no sense. If we didn't have a hairstylist to cut our hair, our hair would be far too long. <laughs> wow, great compliment. Hey. You're the girl from the diarrhea commercial, aren't you? You get diarrhea on the plane. That's not true. Yeah, move along. I don't get diarrhea on the plane. I get diarrhea in the airport. What's going on? Are you an actor? Well, you don't have to sound so grossed out. I can see why you didn't want him meeting Jocelyn. Excuse me? This isn't Jocelyn, it's Sheena. She's an actress. Yeah, I was in an episode of SVU. I say, we want answers. The director tried to replace me, but Marishka said it would take too much time. And then they all agreed I'd probably cut together fine. Look, Diaz, I've obviously misread our relationship. You didn't want me to meet the real Jocelyn because we're not as close as I thought we were. So, message received. Hey, so you don't by any chance need any Molly, do you? I'm a cop. And a scene. Now I am out of character, and I don't sell any drugs. I am leaving. Excuse me, do you have a less crinkly dollar I could trade you for? Yeah, of course I do. None of my dollars has a single crinkle. When they do, I steam them. Oh. Wow, that is crisp. Can't wait to get this baby home and flatten it out. Almonds, nice choice. Oh, thanks. They're, uh, they're not for me, they're for my girlfriend. Detective Diaz? Oh, you must be Jocelyn. What? No, I'm Denise. Who's Jocelyn? Is Rosa cheating on me? Oh, my. No, that was a joke. I'm sorry. I thought it would be funny. I am Jocelyn. Oh, that was actually very funny. I didn't know what was happening, and then I thought I knew what was happening, but what I thought I knew was happening wasn't what was happening. It's very good. You must be Captain Holt. Mm. Hey. Hey. Uh, can you give us a second, babe? Yeah, I'll wait out there. Pleasure to meet you, Captain. Mm -hmm. So, this is Jocelyn. I'm glad you got to meet her. For the record, I wasn't keeping her from you because I was afraid you were gonna hurt her feelings by being judgy. I think it's hilarious when you're judgy. It's because I was afraid you weren't gonna like her. You and I are close, and I... I value your opinion. Well, she seems great in our limited interaction. Maybe you could get to know her better over Kevin's rice this weekend. That would be great. You might want to save your girlfriend. She's talking to Hitchcock. Damn it! <laughs> 